I definitely just got hit with a train full of emotions. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing The Farewell. The Farewell stars Aquafina, and she's a part of a, a Chinese family who discovers that their grandmother has only a short while left to live and decide to keep her in the dark while scheduling a wedding together before she dies. Hearing a lot of buzz about this movie outside of Sundance and even other festivals, I'm hearing so much praise about this movie. I got quite excited in fact to go see this movie and it set my expectations pretty high up and sometimes these festival movies when you hear that expectation you go in expecting greatness and you come out getting okayness but i'm very happy to say with a film that does still have 100 percent on rotten tomatoes as of filming this the farewell succeeds on every level and actually exceeded my expectations which i was not expecting i was expecting to like this film but not as much as i did i in fact cried multiple times the way that the director lulu wang caught me to feel the amount of emotions that i was overwhelmed with throughout this whole entire film was just spectacular even though I did feel very embarrassed with how red my eyes were after seeing this film. I not just cried a bunch, but I also laughed a lot. And this film, I feel like no matter what culture you are from, you're going to find a character or a relationship within your life that you're going to be able to latch on between Aquafina's character, Billy, and of course her grandmother, Nai Nai. I think we've all had that special relationship with one another where we know someone's going to probably pass away soon and that person was meaning so much to us and it's just kind of a ticking time bomb to when that's going to happen. And when it finally does, you kind of get overwhelmed but even then while it's building up to there seeing them kind of in agonizing pain or in general just knowing the outcome of what's going to happen it is a very very tough situation and the way that this film tackles it and of course touching on to the Chinese culture and how they do not share this with their loved one how they want them to live their life without worrying about the fear of death that's also very beautiful and actually when people hear that, they might be like, that's very selfish, that's very crazy, but the way that this film dives in and giving exposition to the culture, and in general, the exposition scenes in this film are actually very brilliantly laid out, where they feel so seamlessly through, and there's multiple moments where I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh wait, this this is an exposition scene, but it doesn't feel like an exposition scene, I really like that. Everything that they really truly did to the Chinese culture in here made me appreciate it more, because I didn't get to grow up in that, I do have some friends that were grown up in within it, I got to see it to this type of passionate level on a filmmaking scale and I'm just excited to see it now on the big screen. It overall just made me fall in love with this and it made me fall in love with each and every character and we have to talk about Aquafina's performance in here. For to date we've only seen her kind of as this loud mouth funny person and she still kind of holds that personality to her while also no showing another side of her that we have never seen before in filmmaking. I am so floored by Aquafina's performance in here. It goes down to how endearing this film is, and her performance in here is one of the most endearing parts about it. Her relationship with her Nai Nai is one of the most important parts about the whole movie, and the way that this movie sets it up within the first five minutes had me latched on. Within the first five minutes, I actually knew this was going to be a pretty special movie, and that relationship that they just started building up from that first opening shot to the last one is one of the most powerful things of the whole entire film. The dynamic between the whole family is great. It's kind of hard to categorize this film because there are a lot of dramatic moments but in the sense this is also pretty much a comedy there's a lot of nice laughing moments i giggled a lot i had a smile on my face while tears were coming down my eyes how is that even possible lulu wang the writer and director again of this movie found a way to find that possibility of making you cry while also making you laugh making you feel like you're a part of this chinese culture and also making you feel like you're a part of this family while also being able to yes like I'm just going to say it again, being able to relate to these characters in some sort of way, because again, we've all gone through this. Before I get to my final thoughts, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button again. If you guys are enjoying this, I do tons of early movie reviews like this. Go check out all my social media if you guys want to get some early insider kind of things to any other types of movie news that I talk about. And of course, guys, go over to Sandwich on Films if you guys want to go see films like early like Hobbs and Shaw. Overall, The Farewell is easily going to be popping up there into some of my favorite films of this year. It was not, again, just one of the most beautiful and endearing films of the year, but it melted my heart in so many different ways. It carries the comedy. It carries the drama. And in an hour and 38 minute run time it is just a perfect package from beginning to end i was sucked into the farewell and not for one second was i hesitant about this movie not for one second was i sitting there going what is with all the hype not for one moment was i 
questioning how much I love this film. This is one of the best films. This film deserves all your attention on the big screen. I hopefully you guys go give it a check out as it opens up into wider theaters this week. This has to be one of A24's best films. I'm not even joking. I'm truly floored with The Farewell. So with all that said, I'm going to give this film an A. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on The Farewell. Are you guys excited for it? Are you looking forward to it? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure to go check out Sandwich on Films as well down below. And hit that like and subscribe if you guys are new here. But guys, I can't wait to talk with you guys soon about other early movie reviews. Look out for some coverage on San Diego Comic-Con this week on this channel. But of course, until next time, stay classy.